going on broskies, it is Lupus, and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about the possibility of seeing a dino mode come up in a future DLC such as Dragon's Teeth or Final Stand. To present the information we have collaborated and gathered together through the power of speculation, I have a good friend and great Battlefield content producer Creation here with me today. Hi Internet, my name is Creation and Lupus and I have uncovered and pieced together a puzzle of mysteries having to do with a potential dino mode coming up in a future DLC. So to start off with, I'm going to give you guys a brief history of everything dino related in Battlefield games in the past. This isn't going to cover everything, but I am going to try and give you details about little things to paint you guys a picture of what has gotten us up to this point. So in Battlefield 3, we did see a lot of dinosaur skeletons scattered across abandoned flats, as well as a pterodactyl flying in the sky. On the map Sebelin Pipe, we similarly found out that if you walk into a certain portion of the map, you would end up hearing a dinosaur screech over a mountain. Very similarly in Battlefield 4, if you go on the map Rogue Transmission, you can press two buttons simultaneously. If done right, you will end up having a percent chance of hearing a dinosaur screech off in the distance, as well as seeing some trees rustle. At the very beginning of Battlefield 4's lifespan, this seemed to be one of the only dinosaur-related easter eggs in Battlefield 4 until China Rising came out. When China Rising came out, we found out that there was a secret assignment called Phantom Prospect that you could find the password to and unlock. Now, the very interesting thing about Phantom Prospect is that the name hints at a book, and in this book, there is a treasure that is guarded by a massive megalodon, which is a giant prehistoric shark. Now, after a major and massive hunt for the Megalodon, we were very unsuccessful until the Naval Strike DLC came out. With the Naval Strike DLC, we were able to uncover and find the Megalodon. Within the Naval Strike DLC, we also uncovered a secret assignment known as the Phantom Trainee Assignment. Much like its predecessor, Phantom Prospect, the war for completing the Phantom Trainee Assignment was a snake skin like camo. Now looking back at prehistoric creatures such as Megalodon, I took it upon myself to research prehistoric animals that dealt with snakes. And luckily I came across Titanoboa. Now Titanoboa is a massive prehistoric snake or serpent which I believe could make an appearance in the map Sunken Dragon in Dragon's Teeth. My reasoning behind this idea is that when I think of a sunken dragon, I think of a dragon that has descended to the ground and has lost his wings. However, since this DLC takes place in China, I think of a Chinese dragon, and without its wings, it strongly resembles a serpent. So after piecing all this together, I believe we're going to see a hidden Titanoboa in the Lake of Sunken Dragon. The next piece of information actually comes from the Battlefield Hardline beta. Now, I know you guys are thinking this is brand new. Why would anything be within there? Well, in my opinion, I don't think that there's any coincidence that after initially announcing the game for the first time at E3 that they would let us have a beta at this time for no apparent reason. And in this beta, they coincidentally picked a map that has a poster on it saying Fall of the Dinosaurs, July 18th. And you may be wondering what could this date have any significance to? Well, nobody really knows at this point when exactly the Dragon's Teeth DLC is going to come out, but it's rumored to come out in the first week of July. And I know that July 18th is not within the first week of that month. However, if you look back at what happened with the Phantom Trainee assignment, we couldn't find out the password for it. If you went to kevinsimpson1942.com, there was nothing on it for the first week or so of the DLC being out. But after about a week, they did end up leaking or opening up the site where you could see an image. And on this image, after assembling certain parts of it, you were able to unlock the password for that assignment. So what I believe is this date could possibly be when they leak some information having to do with the assignment that we receive in the Dragon's Teeth DLC and eventually we can gain a password to unlock the assignment and find out what exactly it gives you at that point, which it may be hinting at a serpent or a dino mode. Now on the same poster that says July 18th, we see at the bottom it says presented by the Green Tooth Foundation. And after doing some research, we found out that this could stand for one of two things, either leading towards the Titanoboa or leading towards a potential dino mode in a future DLC. Now the first one having to do with the Titanoboa is something called Jenny Greenteeth. Jenny Greenteeth is a hag who lurks in a lake and drags children down in there. Now the interesting thing about Jenny Greenteeth is not her story or anything behind her, but rather her appearance. She is commonly described as a green reptilian serpent creature with a humanoid upper body 
who lurks in a lake. And that is very similar to the idea that Creation had about the Titanoboa, that it will lurk inside of the lake on Sunken Dragon. So, this possibly could hint more towards the Titanoboa, but at the same time, Greentooth could hint towards something completely different. Now, the other possibility of what Green Tooth could represent is a coming of Dino Mode. The Green Tooth logo found on the poster belongs to Polycount. Polycount is a website of professional artists that specialize in creating 3D art for video games. This means that Polycount makes character and object models for video games and could very well have been brought in to make the models for both the Megalodon as well as the potential Titanoboa. Since this poster seems to be about an opening of a museum exhibit called Fall of the Dinosaurs and it is presented by Green Tooth or Polycount, this could possibly hint at a game mode coming to Battlefield 4 on July 18th. Featuring character models made by Polycount for example, dinosaurs. Why do we think dinosaurs? Because in the past, Polygon has worked on a dino versus human game called Orion, which featured dinosaur models crafted by them. I hope all the information myself and Lupus have presented to you guys today have given you some food for thought. And if you discover any more information that can hint at something dino related, then be sure to inform us. But that is all the information that Creation and I have gathered for you guys today. After a lot of brainstorming, a lot of research, and a lot of speculation, we got to this point and it was definitely worth it. Because maybe not all that we have told you guys today may be true, but it does hold some truth to it. And hopefully you guys can take the information that we have gathered and run with it, and maybe find out the truth behind all of these hints and all of these little easter eggs that DICE has added into both Battlefield 4 and now the Battlefield Hardline beta. But that is all for today's video. We hope you guys did enjoy. And I would like to tell you guys to stay creative. And we will catch you guys in the next one.